Hi, I'm Brad Hartman. Uh, I am an interventional radiologist and I work at St. Agnes Hospital in Fond du Lac. Y90 stands for yttrium 90, so it's a, uh, it's a radioisotope. It's, a, it's an element that is, re is not stable and it releases radiation and we're using that form of radiation in order to treat people who have metastatic disease or other cancers in their liver typically. So what we're doing is um, we're actually taking a catheter and we're putting it through the arterial system, leading to the vessels that go right to this tumor that a patient has. Lots of different tumors in the liver can be treated with it, and we get a catheter into the artery that goes to the tumor, and then we're able to deliver these yttrium 90. They're small spheres. They're either made of glass or resin, and the yttrium is impregnated on them. And by puffing them into the tumor through that artery, we're able to give doses that are much, much higher to a tumor, but the patients don't have the side effects that they have with a treatment like external beam radiation, which is where we put you in a machine, a radiation oncologist would do this, but they put the patient in a machine and then give radiation beam through the skin to the tumor. But then what happens is that what's in the way gets radiated as well. Sure. And this way, we're actually basically radiating a tumor from the inside out. Yttrium-90 releases a type of radiation called beta emission. It only travels about a centimeter. So really hard on the tumor, not hard on things around the tumor. You have arteries that take blood away from the heart. You have veins that bring blood back to the heart. It's like a circle, okay? And at the level of the tumor, the vessels get real, real small. Where it goes from an artery to a vein it is a network of capillaries. It's kind of like, here's the artery bringing the blood out, here's the vein, and they, mat they meet in the middle here in these small vessels called capillaries. Well, these beads are sized to match those capillaries, so they lodge in the capillary. We actually do it as an outpatient procedure. They come in and they go home the same day. Wow. So they have very little side effects. Okay. Currently, it's FDA approved for people with metastatic disease to the liver from colorectal cancer, neuroendocrine cancer, and a few other malignancies that can go to the liver. And it's approved for patients with primary liver cancer, which is called hepatocellular carcinoma. Okay. So those are the patients that we're treating with it. People that qualify are, are people with those diseases, and typically they'll have failed a first-line type of chemotherapeutic treatment first. In the metastatic population, if they've tried chemotherapy and their liver disease is advancing despite chemotherapy, then yttrium 90 is a lot of times a good option. In the hepatocellular carcinoma population, if they have HCC, which is short for hepatocellular carcinoma, if they have that in their liver and they're, it's not resectable and they're not a transplant candidate, then we'll usually, we'll usually use it in that setting. It's a multidisciplinary approach that we use in this treatment, and that's one of the really neat things about it. So the team that we use is a team of a radiation oncologist, and here at this hospital, it's Dr. Tim Karitko who's doing that with us, and then an interventional radiologist, which here is either myself or my partner, Dr. Douglas Connors. So the three of us are kind of the ones who are involved in the actual treatment planning and care of the patient. The treatment actually has two phases. So the first thing that happens is that a patient will come to either myself or Dr. Connors in the angio lab and we do what's called a planning angiogram. We take pictures of all the vessels that are going to these tumors and in the liver and we look for anything that would be an undesirable target because you know, let's say we have one vessel that feeds that tumor, there may be a branch that comes off and goes, let's say, to the stomach or to another part of the bowel. And we don't want that radiation to go there. So what we'll do in that planning session is we'll block off those non-target vessels, the ones that we don't want to get any radiation. So we'll, we'll usually put a catheter and we put coils, little metal coils in to block off those arteries that are going places we don't want. And then what we do is we give something to, called technetium-99. It's another radiation nuclear medicine uh, uh, substance that we're gonna deliver. And we check how much of the blood flow is going to the lungs because when we uh, are administering the radiation for treatment, we don't want too much to go to the lungs. So once they've had all those things, then they come back a week later and get the treatment. And the, so the planning angiogram probably takes about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. The treatment itself is usually about 45 minutes. The biggest benefit for patients with yttrium 90 
as opposed to other therapies is that it has such a low systemic side effect profile. You know, if you're gonna, if, a, if you had a cancer and you were gonna get systemic chemotherapy, they would just give it into a vein and it goes everywhere. It goes to every organ in your body. People lose their hair, they get nauseous, they get all these side effects of the drugs. Yeah, the drugs also hurt the tumors, but they hurt every cell in your body because they're just designed to, to kill cells that are dividing. Whereas the therapy that we're giving, it's directed right into the tumor and that's all that we're treating. You know, there's such a low side effect profile. And the patients that have metastatic disease, meaning that the cancer that they have has gone to this another place. So if you have a colon cancer, it's spread to your liver or a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor that's spread to your liver. At that point, those cells are kind of out of the box and there's really not a cure for them, but we're trying to prolong life with the treatment and it's very successful at extending people's lives quite a bit beyond what their therapies would otherwise be. In hepatocellular carcinoma, same situation if they're outside of transplant or resection criteria, but if they're inside those criteria and we can keep them in there, then they can have a transplant and ultimately be cured. Patients can have their treatment close to home, their families can be with them. They do this therapy at Madison, they do it at Freighter in Milwaukee, but we're the first people that have brought it kind of up to the Fox Valley area, to my knowledge. And a lot of patients like to get their cancer care close to where they are. You know, it is, it's extending their life and they're able to spend the time that they have left here with people that they love and in places that they're comfortable, rather than constantly having to travel far away, you know, two to three hour drives to get to where they're going. Now they can have the treatment here and also then the follow up is close to home. So let's say that they get a Y90 treatment and now they have to follow up with us in two weeks. Well, then they can come 15 minutes and they can see us right here. They don't have to travel. It, it makes the impact on their daily life a lot less.